Hello everyone, welcome to a former farming in the Philippines. We just had a pretty significant little rain shower here. Um, the the guy uh, the, the the guy that's delivering the bamboo up to us is here and I'm trying to figure out where we're gonna put this. Marcel's sleeping so I can't ask her exactly where she wants it. I'm thinking right here. If you could just put here, I don't know where, uh, I understand it, Tata and Nerio and Ablet are supposed to be uh, loading this. I would have thought one of them would have come back to help him unload it. We're, we're paying 600 pesos, This uh, we're paying this gentleman 600 pesos to bring this bamboo here. I honestly, I didn't count. I don't know how many, I don't know how many pieces of bamboo there are that he's going to have to deliver. But I think 600 pesos is a, is a, is a really good price. I hope this is a, I hope this is okay with Marcel to put that here. I just don't know. We're going to be going into town soon. We've got to go shopping. We need to do some grocery shopping and shopping for other things. I'm going to see if I can wake Marcel up again. I'm going to go by and uh, check on the guys down there and see if there's any way we can move this on a little quicker and double check and make sure this is okay with Marcel to plant this stuff in here. It's lunchtime right now. The guys are just, uh, well, it's, it's getting close to one o'clock, so the guys should be coming back pretty quick. Neighbors are lighting off fireworks. So we'll see if we can get all this done in one day. Well, it's not that I'm opposed to spending money, because you guys see me spend a lot of it. What I'm opposed to is just uh, is being what I can consider ripped off. We, uh, we, so we paid, we're paying 600 pesos uh, to have like 70 pieces of bamboo brought up all the way from Gabriel's, and Gabriel's is about two kilometers from here. What? And um, a different tricycle guy is trying to charge us 600 pesos to take this wood to our house, which is about 200 meters that way. And I just, I ain't going to pay it. So we're going to pull it up there with the van. And um, I, have a, I have an idea, a technique here, which we're going to try. I'm, I'm worried about this plastic here, but uh, I think we can get it to work. I'm not, I'm not worried about it enough to uh, not try this. Yeah, that's perfect. So this is, uh, we bought two coconut trees and uh, we paid 500 pesos each for them. So that's uh, 20 US dollars, which is about exactly the same amount as we got for the roofing tin, the scrap roofing tin. And we paid uh, 2,000, we paid 10 cents a board foot to have it cut up. And we've got 273 board feet, board feet. That's what we ended up with. So it was 2,733 pesos is what it came out to. And so we ended up paying uh, 7,502 because they wanted some tilapia as well. So we traded a little bit of tilapia for a little bit of this uh, lumber work.
So let's see, 27, 37, uh, 3,500 pesos for all this wood. 3,500 pesos is about $70. <coughs> now it is cocoa lumber, so it's not, you know, it's not the very best, but it, uh, it sure beats nothing. So what my plan is, is to, uh, when we get it all stacked here, to, oh, here comes the bamboo guy right now. Tatai, can you, can you uh, ask him when he delivers that, when he drops it, when he puts the bamboo up there, can he take back a couple barrels on his return trip? The blue barrels, yeah. We need to take them back and put them with the others. That pile? Yeah. Can he get by there? Maybe. Michael is not. Michael doesn't want him. He doesn't want to. I mean, he doesn't want to pay for him. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to pay what Anthony wants to pay for him. So. Uh, get his barrel somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Snuck right by there. All right. So anyway, the plan is here to stack all this up on these ropes, cinch the ropes tight, and lift that front portion of the boards up off the ground a little bit, and just drag them home. This all? Or? Yeah. Let's try all. Actually, let me see something, Tatai. Let here. You get one side. I want. I just want to lift this in. See how heavy it is. Here, just just lift a little bit, small amount, small amount. Okay, maybe we'll make two trips then. So what I want to do, Tata, is just tie this very tight. Lift, we have to get this off the ground like this much. Tie through here, hook through here, and we just pull it off. Yeah? That stuff is heavy. We could probably get it all in one trip, but why why kill the band? Yeah, just just tie that. And we'll, just to keep everything together. And we're back for our second load. I have no idea. I, I was going to start the second part of this video on my camera. Made the sound that tells me the memory was full. So I don't have any idea how much of the first part of this video that I actually got uh, down, taken. And we've already hauled the two by fives home uh, two by five by 16 feet you know, I think there was nine or ten of them uh, and we just drug them home and you don't want to drag them again Tatai you don't want to drag again all right well don't destroy the back of that seat Uh, so anyway, uh, 
thousand pesos for the trees, two thousand seven hundred and thirty-three, I think, to have it cut. So we're about seventy dollars altogether into the lumber. Uh, a pretty good deal overall. The only difference uh, in this and before was that uh, we had to buy the trees. So I guess Tata didn't, we, we dragged the first load home, we just drug it, had it in the back of the van, we put uh, part of, you know, one end of it in the back of the van and we just drug it. And I guess Tata doesn't want to do that again, now he's doing, he's trying to hold this and cinch it down, which I don't think is going to work, but I don't know, up to him. So hopefully this will be enough wood for us to totally finish our uh, Nipa roof over the deck. I'm hoping. It's just, man, it's cost. I haven't done a total to date cost on the on the deck and the roof and the regular roof. We got to be getting close to 100,000 pesos with all the labor now. And I'm, I'm getting tired of it. But it is going to be nice when it's done. We're going to have a nice deck uh, with a nice roof, with a guardrail. We can all hang out up there in the evenings. It's going to be nice. It's just uh, all the money going out when there's not a ton of it to go out is always painful. All right, well, we got it loaded up there. That is, you know, wet lumber is heavy. And that is, you can see the little van's about to do a wheelie. That is a load. This has been a, uh, both a good family vehicle and at times a good little workhorse too. You know, I asked Tatai from when we when we drug that last load up there. I asked him if I got my 100% uh, Filipino badge for being the the foreigner dragging lumber around. He thought that was pretty funny. We are about to get rained on. That is a black cloud right there, and it's coming this way. Faster, Tatai, we're going to get wet. All right, well, the rain definitely followed us. That was the load we brought the first time. Yeah, it was only like 10 pieces, but man, that, that was heavy. We probably actually have more weight on it this time. I don't know. Both loads were heavy. Well, I'm going to get out of the rain. 600 pesos saved is 600 pesos earned. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.